Hello guys, welcome to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also subscribing to this channel in order to receive updates whenever we publish new videos. Today we are going to start looking at Java string methods and based on the previous videos we already know that we are able to use strings in Java programming language thanks to a predefined class called the class string. And as with all the other predefined classes, the class string is made up of predefined methods. So we are going to try to look at some of the various methods contained in this class string. So the first method we will look at will be the one that will allow us to return the character at a specified index in a string. And that method is this method that I am highlighting on my screen here, character at index uh, int index here. So this method allows us to return a character uh, at a specified index in a string. And as you can notice, this method accepts a parameter. It accepts one parameter. And that parameter is, must be of type integer. So that's why we have int index here. And uh, that parameter represents the index of our string. And also we need to note that this method, when it's evaluated, returns a value of type character. So based on this information, we have written this code. First of all, we have started by uh, declaring our string variables. So this is the string variable that we have declared. And since um, our method, when it's evaluated returns, it returns uh, a value of type character, we need to declare a variable of the same type that we're going to use to store the value that uh, the method returns. So that's why we have declared this variable here, ch, and of type character. And here we are doing an assignment statement. So here statement, uh, we have a sentence. Sentence is our string variable. And then we have uh, our member access operator. And here, the second part of the statement, we have our method. So what this expression will do is that it's going to uh, it's going to return the first character of our string variable here, this sentence. So this expression, what is going to do as I'm explaining, it's going to return um, the character at a specified index. Uh, in our string uh, variable, which is index. So here we have initialized our uh, string variable to this string, I love programming. And as you know, here we have put zero, zero here is representing the index position. So, and also when we talked about strings, we could understand that the first character in a string is, uh, occupying the position, uh, the index position of zero. So if we say zero here, that means that we are going to output, this method is going to return the character or like the first character in our string. So in order to show you, I'm going to do a system that out that print line. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna write a sentence, a string here. I'll say the character is uh, the character at index zero is, and then I will do a concatenation operator and I will write the name of my variable ch here. So you will see that if I run this program, 
I'm going to get the character is I. So as you can see, I is the first character in our string here. So because we've put zero and in a string, the first character in a, in a string occupies the index position of zero. So if we put one here, the second character uh, is, if we put one, the second character is going to show on the string. But here, since our second character is uh, a space, so nothing is going to show. We, we will only see the character at index one is, there's not going to be anything here. And uh, because in a string, the space is also considered to be uh, a character. As you can see, the index, uh, the character at index one is, you know, nothing is showing because our second character is actually the space between the word I and the word log. But if I do I write index position two here, you will see that uh, the value L will appear. So the character at index two is L, okay? L is the third value. So index position two is corresponding to the th third value in our string. And one thing we need to note is that this index, okay, the index value that we pass uh, through this method should be an integer value as I specified at the beginning of this video. And that integer value must be contained between zero, okay, and the length of our string minus one. So the length of our, our string is equal to the number of characters, you know, in our string, okay? And so if we pass an index value that is outside of that range, uh, we are going to get an exception. Let me say, for example, if I pass, uh, instead of zero, I say that I will pass minus one as my integer here. And then if I try to run it, you will see that I will get an exception. Yeah, so I have exception in thread main, you know, string index out of range. So it is out of the range. It is out, completely out of the range. So it has to be equal to zero. So between zero and then the length of my string minus one. So that's actually the rule. And uh, so, as I said, the length of my string uh, is actually equal to the number of characters in, uh, in my string. For, so if I put another index value here, and I say, for example, that uh, I write 30, so to make sure that it's actually out of the range. So, and I say the character at index position 30 is, and if I run, you will see that I will still get an exception error here. So saying that the string index is out of range. So it is actually out of range. But if I write uh, 10 here, because I guess 10 is actually inside the range. And if I run it like this, you will see that it is going to say, tell me, okay, let me change this. The character at index uh, 10 is uh, G. So you see here a 10, the character at index 10 is G because 10, the index value 10 is actually inside the range. So the range is zero, between zero and the length of your string value minus one. So guys, that was it concerning this uh, method, character at index, uh, which is used to allow us to return the character uh, positioned at a specified um, index position in a string. And uh, so you can use this method whenever you need it. Uh, so that was it concerning this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to meet you in the next uh, video.
Bye.